Before I get into what I actually want to talk about in this video, I thought I'd give you guys a super quick loot video from loot from just over 400 Raksha kills. The drop rates have confirmed to be the same in solo and group, and I've actually saved all of my loot minus uniques. I'm not a huge fan of these proper loot videos because effectively, it's a full video you have to watch for a couple screenshots of loot, so I'm just gonna hit you guys with the screenshots. That is my kill count in solo and group. Those are my PRs if you're interested. And then this is my collection log right there. I've had five ricochet codices, one divert, four laceration boots, and three fleeting boots, which is super lucky. I think I'm probably on drop rate for boots, but I'm guessing I have at least two, probably three more codices than I should have based on my kill count. After that, that's a screenshot of every single common drop. I haven't sold a single one yet. Um, so yeah, anyway, there's the loot from all of my reaction kills. If I were to make a guess on GP per hour with stabilized prices, I'm guessing somewhere between 25 and 35 million coins an hour. If that seems a little low to you, just in supplies alone, I'm spending about 15, sometimes even 20 million coins per hour just to fight the boss. And that's not including death costs or anything like that. It's just supplies I'm going through, food I'm going through, and the biggest cost of all, the nine and a half million coins an hour I spend on having my Grimoire active. I don't see this boss ever being Telos money, but it's not really about that. I can make profit while fighting it, and it's an enjoyable fight, so I'm gonna do a whole lot of it. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Raksha was released into the game just about two weeks ago, on the 7th of December 2020. After enough deaths to single-handedly raise the price of Onyxes, I got my first kill. And since then, I finished off Danger Barney over 400 times. Raksha's a really interesting boss because every mechanic is predictable and his rotations are set. That means that once you know them, you know them for good, and you're gonna have an easy time with the boss. But until you know what's coming, you're in for a world of pain. At my 100th kill, I still had a negative kill-death ratio, where I had died more times than I had kills, and it took me well over 100 kills to start killing the boss consistently. Because of this, a lot of people had a rough release day, and a rough release week as well. A lot of my friends spent days throwing themselves at the boss without getting much to show for it. While this was happening, the top players who'd mastered every mechanic were feasting. By day two, I had a no food, no armor kill with a royal crossbow as my only weapon. And by day four, it had been done with no food and bronze daggers. This was by design. The boss was designed to make prayer flicking and understanding the mechanics very rewarding. And it was supposed to be a boss that would be easy once mastered, but almost impossible to brute force by spamming food and high HP. A week after release, on the 14th of December, Raksha was nerfed. The tail swipe damage and rockfall damages were both reduced, and so was the base damage from auto attacks. For all the arguments for and against the nerf, here are my thoughts. The boss was difficult. It required mechanical knowledge to complete and good execution as well. These things are all difficult to learn. And in my opinion, this nerf had to be done, not because the boss was too difficult, because the game does almost nothing to help players learn the fundamentals of how to complete a fight like this while deaths and supplies are exceptionally frustrating to upkeep. The nerf didn't ruin the boss by any means. It's still fun and enjoyable, but the damaging auto attacks, punishment for mistakes, and inability to brute force it is now all but gone. In the background, you're watching me no food the boss without using any defensive abilities, protection prayers, onyx bolts, or vamp aura. This isn't what the boss was designed to be, and it's a lot closer to a DPS dummy than it was before. All in all, I don't mind the nerfs. I see why they felt like they had to do it, and although I'm personally a little disappointed because in my opinion nerfing the boss is a band-aid fix to a larger issue, I understand it and I hope that in the future there are some incredibly difficult content releases that are designed to require a lot of work to complete. Something like the Inferno Wall at school. This is also the reasoning behind them removing Reaper crew from Complicate. It made it so that they could release things that weren't designed to be completed by everyone. And clearly, the objective for Raksha was not to be one of those, but hopefully the door is open for this to happen in the future. In the meantime though, I want to help those of you who need it with your PVMing, so that you can all learn and take out Raksha and whatever other new content the game comes out with in the next year. In the next few weeks and beyond, I'll be releasing a guide to prayer flicking, a complete beginner guide to Raksha with no armor and tier 80 weapons, and an advanced sub 3 minute strategy guide as well. I'd also like to cover my magic and ranged ability rotations in a similar format to my melee DPS guide from 2019. Jagex still needs to do way more, with revamping the practice mode system, creating better tutorials and strategy pages, and helping lead players in the right direction. And I promise you guys, I'm doing everything I can to push them that way. But there's a lot we can do without them, and I'm tired of waiting for them to make the first move. I want to help you guys out in any way I can. I think that's pretty much all I've got for you guys in this one, but I'm going to end it off with a question. What did you all think of the Raksha nerf? 
I know it was super polarizing, so please keep the comment section civil. You are allowed to disagree with me and with others as well. I'm just super interested to get a lot of different perspectives on it. I've been speaking to people in my Twitch chat the entire week about it, and there's been a lot of good insight from experienced players, newer players, people who had to work really hard to get that first kill, and even some JMods weighing in as well, and I'd love to get your thoughts. Outside of that, I hope you're all well, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one for something a little more proper.